Today, we will be answering a bunch of the viewers' questions. Goose Wayne, hello. Peace out. All right, so today, three hours ago, I posted a community post answering viewers' questions. Ask whatever you'd like in the comments and you might see yourself in a video. The reason I made this video is because uh, there's a lot of questions in my comments all the time, which is great. It drives engagement, by the way. If you do enjoy this video, please, please, please hit that like button, leave, drop a comment. Anyways, uh, so we're just gonna go through here and answer questions. By the way, you should join the Discord. If you haven't, the Discord link is down below. We have 1,500 members or more but at least 1500, I know that. Do you get uncomfortable when people online call you daddy? Okay, so that has a lot of likes, so that must be a true thing. I honestly do not notice. If that's a real thing, I have not noticed people calling me daddy. Uh, if they are calling me daddy, that is not cool. I ain't nobody's daddy but my wife's, so. Um, I don't know. I get. I haven't seen it, so maybe I'm wrong. Was this a troll? Are you trolling me? Not sure if you've already explained this. So you guys faked the Batman thing to get on that show. I totally believed you were crazy, but just learned about your channel and have been watching all your work. This is a common misconception, but the Batman thing on Dr. Phil was not fake. So, yep. And that's not because I signed an NDA or anything like that. It was not fake. I am crazy. They admittedly made me look crazier than I actually am. I think the episode, at least while I was recording it, I thought it was pretty fine. You know, you can edit anything to be any sort of way. So I love daddy. Um, that being said, I'm not mad at their editing. I thought it was a very entertaining episode. I don't see why I can't just be Batman if I want to be. What age did your baldness spread in a circular way on your head? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. The baldness. Okay, maybe you're right. It just came from everywhere, really. Mine wasn't like a normal where it started like going back like this. Mine just completely got encapsulated. It's still spreading. So what age? Man, I don't know. Because I, I would have been balding anyway, even if I didn't get a hair eating fungus. That's real. That's not part of a bit. I do currently have, and I've had it for years now, a hair eating fungus. How did you and your wife meet? Me and my wife met on Omegle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I met my wife in high school, but we met in high school cafeteria. She was a little weirdo sitting by herself and i sat next to her actually me and my wife never dated um we just stayed friends literally just friends uh for the next decade and then in my late 20s we hung out and i was like yo this girl's pretty dope she's been dope forever so uh one day after hanging out for a while i just proposed to her and then the rest is online so what's your favorite thing to do outside of home i actually don't leave the house that much because i'm a full-time dad so like today i just left i took my daughter to the beach for the first time ever and mcdonald's i gave her a chicken nugget sue me Anyways, she had a good time, but I, I really don't leave that much. Um, if I do, it's because I really need something ASAP. But my favorite things to do, period, regular Florida man stuff. I like fishing. I like shooting guns. Very simple. Have you ever met any fans in real life? I meet fans in real life every time I leave this house. It doesn't bother me before someone asks. I love it. Actually, it's gotten to the point where if I go to Walmart or something, when I get back to my car, I realize like no one recognized me. That's crazy because it's so it's so often. And then when I realize realize that no one recognized me it fuels me like i'm not there yet like i have to work harder it's like a subconscious goal i guess because i don't notice when it happens i notice when it doesn't happen and i'm like that's weird <laughs> you know but as a youtuber it lets me know that i'm doing a good job is your hair fungus actually from belize side note your wife is amazing and i hope you can tell her that for me maybe if my editor includes this she'll hear this my hair fungus is not from Belize. I got my hair fungus in Florida inside a Batman mask. What's been your favorite prank you've done to people in your videos? I really like, <laughs> it's really hard to pull off, but I really like the acting sad and then like really drawing them in to uh, the face reveal. And I talk about how like, people skip me and they laugh and I love when I pull that mask off they try so hard to not laugh or skip that's my favorite get this man a q-tip sponsorship stat I would love any kind of sponsorship I turn them down I've gotten a lot of sponsorship offers but I'm turning them down simply because I don't feel like now's a good time to put 30 second ads in front of my viewers I feel like we are just now starting to grow so I'd like to wait some more time that being said I would also like to pay my bills so be expecting ads in the future and I hope you guys watch them how did you learn to edit slash record videos the way you do I know it's not easy um I don't currently edit my uh long form videos my editor June Moons does he's editing this one right now um but I do know how to edit 
edit i edit all the shorts that you guys probably followed me for i edit those all those simple edits i know how to edit on my mac it just took years of having to edit because I couldn't afford an editor. Now I can afford an editor, but that's basically all I can afford. I'm not acting poor, okay? YouTubers do not make as much money as Google will lead you to believe. So I make enough money to pay my editors and um, take my family out to eat. How does it feel to be loved by so many? Congratulations, you've earned it. <sighs> I, I feel like, uh, first of all, it is very nice, very pleasant, but um, it, it'll never get to my head. I'll probably never truly accept it because the internet in general is very fickle. I don't care who you are, what content creator you are, how famous you are. Everyone can love you today and hate you tomorrow. Um, I don't know. If you could talk to your younger self, what advice would you give? I would tell him to focus on his dream, on his actual dream. Don't listen to what his parents and society expects him to do and categorizes as successful. Just find happiness. A college degree does not mean that you will be successful. Do not chase after college if that is not your dream. If your dream does not involve having a degree, then what are you doing? I, I went to four different universities and I much would have preferred if I would have not went at all or went to a trade school about something I like. I love motorcycles. I would have been way better off if I got out of high school and went to motorcycle mechanic trade school. Chase your dream. That's what I would tell my younger self. Um, I have mixed emotions about you. I love the comedy and you as a whole, but I'm super jealous of you. If only I had the confidence of you years ago. Well, senor dude guy, cool name, by the way. If there's any advice I can give you and anyone that resonates with this comment, it's that uh, don't take life so seriously. You know, don't take yourself so seriously. Don't take life so seriously. You know, some things are serious, like you got to make bills and stuff, but you losing your hair is not that serious, man. It really isn't.